So uh, thank you very much, Philip, and uh, thanks to to you, to Jamie and Mark for the invitation to present uh, to you this uh, in progress project. It's not a project; it's a research that we put uh, together, different research line uh, carried out uh, my me and my colleagues that are working at the University of Pisa and the Pontifical Institutes of um, Christian uh, Archaeology. So our um, our topic is um, is about uh, the um, how to try to um, to give a definition in an economical way and also in a special way the about the secondary settlements in uh, in the Roman uh, Italy. So it's a, it's a, there is many um, problems of definition about these types of settlements, but in general we have to categorize that in the concept of uh, agglomeration secondaire that was uh, produced also by the French uh, scholars and collect together different types of settlements uh, that stay in between the, the villas and the, and the cities. So uh, how to, to approach this, uh, this, this subject, uh, we, have, uh, we have started to, to an excavation of a um, Roman um, Manzio or, or also used for Frevicus uh, along the um, Cassia Road uh, and in the Ombrone Valley. Uh, but also we, we have tried to, to, go, to, to go up our scale of, uh, um, of investigation, uh, looking the um, regional patterns and then go to a macro scale, um, uh, to a macro scale um, in order to, to quantify the general trends uh, that are in the Italian peninsula in the, during the, the long durée. Uh, so the first, uh, the first things was to, create, to try to create a, a data set of, um, of sites. So it was something that uh, there, is, there is many problems about the collection of uh, edited sites in different publications in different ways, with different uh, level of uh, um, and of, of degree of, um, um, of investigation, etc. But we have tried to collect a, a good uh, simple of uh, 200, um, 217 uh, uh, sites covered uh, um, some parts, co covered all uh, Italy, the peninsula and the insulas too. So the, the question about this uh, macro scale uh, was about uh, the, um, the, chrono the, the, the long term chronology in, the, in one end, and the other end was the special relation between these sites and the f four futures that are in the landscape, two natural futures, the rivers and the coastline, and two human infrastructure like the towns and the, um, and the roads. So, um, about the continuity of uh, occupation of this set, we have constructed uh, frequency histograms of the number of centuries in which uh, uh, the different sites are uh, occupied during the, during the time. And uh, we have immediately we found that uh, these sites have a, a long occupation that that's cover approximately from five of uh, six uh, uh, century of uh, occupation. So other, other question in, in this long-term uh, perspective uh, is the, the, after, the afterlife of these secondary settlements in comparison than the, um, than the Roman villa. So because I have also worked in, the, in my PhD th thesis on the um, reoccupation and afterlife of Roman villas in Italy. So I have already managed this data set and I compared my, my data to the secondary settlements to, to try to, to understand if uh, this settlement was more um, um, useful for a, for a long occupation during the, uh, during the long term. And uh, in fact, uh, we have uh, these sites are more uh, reoccupied, are more frequency of reoccupation in the secondary settlements than, than the villas. And, uh, and also, Another important um, data is about the, the presence of, uh, of a church in, the, in this site that's in percentage, uh, it's, um, it's higher uh, than in, uh, in, the, in the secondary settlement. So this, this point, it's, um, 
it's one thing that's uh, are related also with the location of these sites in in the landscape because the construction of the church in in the in the first century of the of, of the last century of late antiquity and the first century of the early middle ages was something that was very connected to the managing by the church to the um, uh, to the network in and the, and the settlement pattern um, and so the, the, the other graph is about the, the chronology of the, of the recupation that uh, have a peak during the, the 6th uh, uh, century uh, AD. And then we have a, we have a reprise of reoccupation in the, um, in the Middle Ages because uh, maybe this data is not, uh, is not true because uh, is the, is made only because we have found sites where there is a Romanic or proper medieval church in these sites, but there is no investigation of the church. So probably this um, church of the 11th or 12th century, m maybe they have uh, um, phases of uh, occupation, maybe that started uh, previously during the century of the early middle, uh, during the century of the early middle ages. Uh, so uh, the um, the other point is the um, is to we have tried to perform statistical uh, uh, special statistics uh, uh, about the concept of uh, attractive force of this uh, between these sites and the elements of the of the of the settlement. So uh, in in general, um, we have found that. Uh, the location of, of these sites are mainly located uh, near the, the road is the, is the, is the much stronger uh, attractors of these sites followed by the rivers and the, um, and the cities have an opposite uh, uh, trend so it's, uh, it's, so, it's something that uh, is not an attraction but it's uh, have a force of uh, uh, that's um, have a different uh, vector that's to that's around the city it's very difficult to found these these types of uh, of settlements for for this this we also waited the um, we have to try to normalize the um, the area occupied by the different buffer zone around the the different types of uh, attractors uh, and so to try to quantify also this p the, the, the percentage of uh, attraction between uh, settlements and uh, these uh, elements, uh, river roads, coastline and, uh, and towns. And so we, we show that the roads and the rivers, the natural uh, and also these, these, two, these, mm, these two elements that are connected with mobility of idea, gods and uh, and humans and, and and people around the in the landscape is the is the much much more uh, uh, related to these types of uh, of sites. So uh, in in this macro macro scale, the the, the general trends that we have uh, found uh, are the, the first of all is the is this long durée of of this type of sites and the and the much frequency of reuse in the um, after the the construction of the Roman landscapes and also a a relation with the Christianization of rural uh, areas that that need uh, strategic place in, in the landscape for uh, for this type of for the organization of the dioceses in the in the late uh, antique Italy uh, about the the spatial relation so uh, again the the infrastructure of communication uh, are uh, are very important elements of attraction of uh, of these sites and the cities have a, a opposite uh, trend that react the this this, this secondary settlements. So uh, going to to another, going down to to a scale, uh, to a regional scale, we have uh, we have investigated the, um, the case studies of the Ombrone uh, system. 
let's say it's a, we are in the, in Tuscany in the in the south of Tuscany and so we have try to um, to understand the the relationship between three sites the the secondary settlements of Santa Cristina in Caio where we had we did an excavation uh, the um, a, a Roman villas of La Befa that was investigated in the in, in the 60s in the 70s and uh, and the city of uh, of Siena for this site we, we have um, uh, we have do some quantification about the the imports of goats uh, for try to to look the the difference trends that uh, that can be showed by the the penetration of these uh, uh, of these types. This is the the the, the imports of uh, of amphorae in. Um, the of, of amphorae and uh, also uh, tableware like uh, African uh, red slip in, inside these, these sites and of course we can uh, see the, the predominance of the, of the presence of uh, uh, products that arrive from the sea in the, in the city of, of Siena and, uh, and, and also the, the rule of, of Santa Cristina that have um, much more uh, products that arrive from uh, from the inland, but another uh, in in this um, to try to construct an, an idea about this uh, economic uh, framework of this uh, area, we also consider an, a, another production that is the imitation of African red slip called the ingobbiata di rosso. That that is a production that um, that start. At the uh, start from the fifth century and arrived until the seventh century, so it's a it's a science that uh, something uh, doesn't work very well for attract the proper African red slip in the in these sites, and so there is the uh, intention of imitation of these uh, products. That then the, um, and this and this production are made uh, locally in the in the Chianti region and also in another sites and other uh, Roman villas in uh, in Terraccia uh, di Chiusi. So so maybe this uh, this particular production could uh, show us another local uh, uh, network, which in which uh, the the city of Siena is the is the place of uh, which. Uh, this production uh, arrived uh, with much more uh, frequency. Um, so uh, the other, the um, so what you, what we want to to show also, looking to to the to the line of penetration of this. Uh, of these gods, uh, uh, we have also analyzed the the, um, the system of sites that uh, are across the the Umbrone uh, rivers, uh, and so of course the the city of of Roselle and another sites of uh, Pietra uh, Pietra Tonda could be could be play a role in this uh, in this line of penetration of um, of amphorae and and products from the. Um, from the sea and uh, that uh, arrive inside, uh, uh, arrive in the inland of uh, of Tuscany uh, across the the Ombrone rivers and Santa Cristina in Caio is the, is the last place uh, before Siena, so is the is the place uh, that in this team could be a node that uh, are furnish the the city of Siena of products that arrived from the um, from the sea across the, um, the Ombrone River. Uh, so, to, to, and I, 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 our uh, goals, it's also a first uh, attempt to, to produce uh, uh, network analysis uh, uh, following the, because we have constructed, my colleague Stefano Bertoldi have constructed a database of imports in, uh, in many sites uh, of, uh, of Tuscany. Uh, and so we, um, after to to make uh, a list cost path of the of the regions, uh, we have um, um, connected uh, the sites, and uh, and then uh, we have uh, produced uh, a first uh, using cytoscope a first uh, visualization of the network of the during the Roman imperial period based on the. Um, 
on the imports of uh, of God. So the um, so in our data set there is the the sites connected uh, across. Uh, there is a site that are connected uh, along the um, the list codes path, and uh, the um, and the data of uh, which we want to visualize is the origins of the of the gods. For example, um, Amfra coming from Gaul, or Amfra coming from North Africa, or Amfra coming from uh, Hispania. And so, in this uh, in this case, we we can we can see that, uh, for example, in the in the north part of uh, of Tuscany, another important site that it's also a secondary settlement is uh, uh, San Genesio. Uh, that's uh, it's uh, it's close to not so far to to Firenze. That it's uh, it's very uh, central place in in this network, but also for the southern part of uh, of, of the Tuscany, Santa Cristina have uh, also a, a rule inside this uh, this this network so uh, at the end the, the economic uh, um, the sort of eco economic trends that uh, we have uh, found uh, uh, in our analysis uh, show that uh, of course the, the the cities are in the um, are, are the vertex of this uh, hierarchy of commercial exchange and the uh, and the secondary settlements stay in the in, uh, in the middle in uh, like like place of of uh, consumption, but also stay in the rural areas. So it's place also of production of local uh, um, types of uh, of pottery, uh, for example, and uh, also the the special rule of the of the river for the penetration of these uh, of these elements in uh, inside the the countryside and uh, and so this this complex system it's made by different nodes that's uh, the first one is Roselle it's more closer to the coastline across the um, along the the Ombrone river and arrive to um, to Santa uh, Cristina uh, so this uh, our uh, the, the, f the 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 main ideas is that we have uh, produced in a in a work in progress because we want to try to to go forward improving also following the suggestion that uh, we have uh, also during this uh, um, this fruitful uh, conference uh, is to try to define the the position of of these types of settlement inside the roman landscape looking looking that uh, from a special point of view and also from economic point of view mixing these these elements of the that's uh, arrived from the sources that are for example the imported pottery and also the the location of these sites in uh, in the set in the settlement so the first uh, this is a first analysis that's maybe it's uh, very uh, theoretic and abstract abstract in, in some sense but is the first attempt to make question and uh, um, and schedule for the future uh, investigation thank you